bike cleaning. The only thing I'm more obsessed about than weight. And the reason for that is a clean bike equals a silent bike. And a silent bike equals happy days. So I've been getting a few comments on Instagram a few times now of how I keep my bike so clean or specifically how I keep my chain looking like new all the time. So I thought I would address that in this short video about my bike cleaning regime. I know it will be probably overkill for a lot of people, but it's been working uh, excellent for me, keeping my bike clean and last but not least quiet. So if I have a weird sound, I know there's usually something wrong that I need to fix and it's not just a dirty drying train or something like that. But anyway, hopefully someone can uh, take a few tips from it. So I will start by saying there's not any like super magic going on. Having a clean bike means you need to clean it and you need to clean it often. Basically, I clean it after every big ride or at least after 100k or something like that. I make sure my bike is sparkling before I go out on any longer kind of ride on the weekends. So usually Sunday is the bike washing day for me. And to keep that chain looking brand new before every ride, you guessed it, you need to degrease the chain after every big ride. I found another really good tip that is kind of counterintuitive and that is the chain lube selection. I tried a lot of different chain lubes and a few years ago I picked up one liter of this Makov C3 uh, ceramic lube and I will say straight off the bat this is not the best chain lube this is probably not the fastest it won't stay on the chain that long uh, but it has some really good qualities especially if you wash your bike often for starters it's pretty simple to apply a drop on each link and you're good to go and your chain and your dry train will run really quiet. It also won't pick up as much debris and gunk as a lot of other loops I tried. So that's another bonus. However, the not so good part of this is if it gets wet, it basically washes off the chain really quick and it starts sounding like someone is chewing on the chain. So for the few occasions when I get stuck out in the rain, I don't really ride in the rain if I can help it, but sometimes it's... What can you do? I carry this in my little on the bike kit uh, with my spares and stuff, and that's basically just a wet lube in a small bottle that's easy to apply on a chain out on the road. It's pretty much a must if you use this specific lube because like I said, it will just wash off in a rainstorm. However, that's actually a very good quality to have if you're like me, like to wash your bike after every big ride. To help that degreasing a bit quicker, the last couple of years I've been using uh, this Park Tool home mechanic uh, chain cleaner tool. It's definitely showing some age. The good thing about this though is that you can buy these uh, replacement brushes and sponges, everything. It's readily available here uh, on Amazon and stuff like that. So. Uh, it's a good combination. My latest little gadget I got for bike cleaning is this little thing. Uh, it's a battery operated air duster. Uh, and I will show you that in a minute. Uh, I will just say, don't, don't buy this. If you can, get a compressor. But because of my living situation, uh, a compressor is not an option for me. But yeah, I thought I'd show it anyway. So enough chatting inside. I will take the bike out and give it a good clean and I will show you specifically how I wash my dry train. Anyways, let's head on out. So starting up with my cleaning brushes, all of these brushes are actually from my local 99 cent store or 100 yen store as they're called here in Japan. Uh, even the sponges is from their car cleaning supplies. I will just soak this in a bucket of soapy water. So after trying a lot of different degreaser, I ended up using Morga Blue degreaser and that's been good for me. Here's the chain cleaner tool that I showed you before from Park Tool. I also used this chain keeper and a small detailed brush to apply the greaser to different parts on the bike. I might as well address this because I always get asked what kind of stand I'm using. I'm using an old stand from Minura that is discontinued now. It's originally made for quick releases as well and 
I had to drill out the mount for the fork here to be able to use my through axles. As a side note though, having an open up frame on these kinds of stands are not the best solution since the bottom bracket area is asymmetric. It doesn't really rest very stable on that cradle for the BB. So I wouldn't recommend these kinds of stands for the open up specifically, but otherwise I prefer these kinds of stands as it's easy to turn the bike around to lift up and clean under the bottom bracket etc. So once I got the bike up on the stand I will start by rinsing the bike and the drivetrain and the rear wheel as well yes with my garden hose and I will use the weakest shower setting on the hose because you don't really want to use any higher pressures when in and around the bottom brackets and other bearings like that. After rinsing it down I will remove the rear wheel and I will use my Pedro's chain keeper. This is originally made for quick releases, but just as the stand, I had to drill this out to be able to use it with my through axle. Then I will start to just spray on some degreaser on the chain ring and around the rear derailleur as well and use my detailing brush just to brush off the nastiest gunk that might be stuck to the chain ring and the rear mech. I use these rubber gloves so I can use my fingers just to pinch the pulley wheels as I turn the chain just to make sure to get off that nasty gunk that definitely is gonna be around the pulleys and if you don't clean this off the chain is gonna get dirty real quick again. Give it some extra effort around this area is what I would recommend. Then I will fill up my chain cleaning tool with some degreaser and I will run my chain through this degreaser quite a few revolutions. You will notice the chain getting cleaner for every revolution basically. Once that's done, you can see the degreaser is pretty nasty now. So I will um, put that aside, take my detailing brush again and go through the chain and the chain ring, the pulleys again and just make sure the degreaser has worked itself in, in all the nooks and crannies you can find in and around the dry drain area. While spinning the cranks I like to just put the brush against the pulleys as well and make sure I get that nice and soaked in the greaser. Also do the finger pinch trick again if you see some nasty stuff like this. Get that all out. So now I will use the remaining degreaser that's in the chain cleaner tool. Use my brush again and work that degreaser into the cassette. If the cassette is still dirty and you put a nice clean chain on it, just like with the pulleys, it's gonna get dirty real quick. So definitely put some effort in cleaning the cassette as well. And I've tried a few specific cassette brushes, but I found this kind of detailing paint brush style one works the best to get this cassette clean. And as you can imagine, you will probably flick some grime and dirt onto the rotor, but we will take care of that a bit later. You can, if you're really paranoid, use like a shower cap or something. You can probably find them at the 99 cent store as well and cover the rotor while you're cleaning the cassette. Or you can buy those very overpriced muck off ones that they seem to be really proud of. I would not recommend that though, really. Then I will just rinse the dry train again with the lower pressure. I will increase the pressure and just shoot that on the chain while I'm turning the cranks. Just to use some extra force to get that degreaser off the chain. So we might as well clean the frame while we're at it. Uh, and I will just use the clean sponge and soapy water and basically drench the whole bike in that nice foamy stuff. Like I said, this is what I usually do every week. So it's not that super, super thorough here. I just want to get the most gunk off and make it nice and sparkly. You can, of course, go a bit nerdier and use some proper frame cleaner and stuff like that and finish it off with some car wax or something. I use some simple spray on wax maybe three or four times per year but definitely not every time I clean the bike and this was just a normal basic clean for me. So once the frame is drenched I will take my dirty, not dirty, but my used sponge and run my chain through that sponge basically the same way you did with the chain tool. At this stage it shouldn't leave much of a mark in the sponge and that means we are on the right path to glory. Then after you're happy with that clean the chain ring and clean around the pulleys again. I just wrap the sponge around the pulleys as I did before and if it's some really nasty stuff that don't want to come off I use this simple dishwasher brush that you use for you know plates and stuff like that. So they will hopefully remove the last remaining gunk on those pulleys. 
So I will just rinse the cassette from the greaser now. Also rinse the, the wheel again, just to be safe. And use this brush, which I found being the absolute best piece of bike cleaning kit I have, I think. Says the free wheel mechanism will keep the cassette turning around while you scrub it. It's, yeah, super simple, super easy to get a nice and clean sparkly cassette with this brush. I think it's basically one of those brushes you'd use to scrub floors with, I think. Also 100 yen store, like I said. I'll use the same brush and just make sure the rims and the tires are clean as well. It's a good chance to check the tires as well. There might be some little stone in there stuck somewhere. So it's a good time to give it a thorough look through. And once I'm sure I rinsed off all the water and I will take care of that brake rotor as well with this long brush. I don't know what you use this for normally. But this is perfect to get just in between the spokes and the brake rotor. Make sure you just scrub this on both sides. This is just soap and water like everything else on this bike almost. And I found that this method is good enough to get all that degreaser and mix with oil that might have got onto the rotor from cleaning the cassette. And I don't have any problems with howling discs and everything like that so it seems to be the perfect solution at least for me be sure to let me know if you have any other tips when it comes to this i'm always interested to hear other people's solutions i will just give everything another rinse yes to be safe here we don't want to have any detergent left on the chain or the greaser or anything like that before we start drying the chain off a bit of a high pressure spray on the chain again can never be too thorough Make sure I rinse away as much as I can, especially around the brake calipers as well, because there's usually a bit of gunk left there as well. If they're really nasty, you can actually use the brush and the greaser and kind of clean around the, the brake caliper as well. I didn't do this in this case. So I will just check the chain against my glove. If it still leaves some kind of a residue on my gloves, I will just use the sponge one more round and hopefully that will clean off that last little nastiness. Then another rinse, of course, always need a rinse. And I will also take care of the front wheel, which I will do exactly the same as the rear wheel, apart from not having the cassette on there. So clean the rim, the tire, and then the brake rotor. I also use that long brush to clean the hub shell in between the spokes. It's pretty good for that. I've done a couple of videos on bike cleaning before, a more thorough one of me getting all the cheap brushes from my 100 yen store. And I've done a really long time ago when I lived at the place where I didn't have access to a hose. So I did the cleaning with just a water bottle and one of those garden spray bottles. So check that if you're interested in how to do this without using a garden hose. Then I will just use an old towel to wipe down the frame, try to get it as dry as possible. I will still leave this to dry an hour or two outside before I bring it in as I'm storing my bikes inside. Always, always inside. They should always be within 10 meters while I'm sleeping. Since this stand allows me to move around the frame, I will just tip the frame on both sides to make sure I get all the water out that's probably inside a spindle and in and around the through axles and stuff like that. Then I will run the chain through another towel and it definitely shouldn't leave much of a mark on the towel now. I will also use the towel to pinch the pulley wheels to dry those off. And as you see now, dragging along the chain with my hand doesn't leave a mug at all so i'm pretty happy with this so now here's my little air duster that i showed before and the reason i got this is basically to remove the water that usually gets stuck inside the chain pins this usb rechargeable one is just powerful enough to get the water out of the pins as you can see on the on the paper towel there's quite a lot of water inside the pins that you can't really get to with a towel. And I wish I could have an air compressor. That would have been the absolute best solution. But my living situation, like I said, doesn't allow me to have that. So you can use this little air duster to blow away water from different parts of the bike, including the cassette. But I prefer to use a towel to make that job easier though. You can also use these kinds of, uh, what do you call it? flossing string for cassettes uh, it's not really my favorite i prefer to use the towel instead to be honest so now as all the gunk and dirt 
had settled inside the chain cleaning tool, I will take that old degreaser and put it in a different bottle that I collected from all the times I wash. And this actually adds up pretty quick. And since the gunk stays on the bottom, it's pretty much nice, clean degreaser that you can use again once you run out of the new stuff. So try to be a bit economical and, and not just buy new degreaser all the time. And as you see now, it doesn't leave a spot on my hands. So I'm pretty happy with this. The last step is to apply the chain lube. And like I said, I use this C3 dry lube from Makoff for the reasons I stated before. If you now doesn't enjoy cleaning your bike and you just do this maybe once a month, I do not recommend you using this degreaser because like I said, it's good for, uh, for one big ride basically. I, after say 200K, it's definitely in a, in a need of a replacement, so I would probably look elsewhere. I don't really have any good recommendations on chain lube, so let me know in the comments if you have any good chain lube you know that runs dry and stays on the chain for those who like to maybe not go this crazy on degreasing your dry train every single ride or every single week at least. And again, I want to point out that I know this is probably overkill for a lot of people. If you don't go this far, your bike will still run fine, I think, but I found this works so nice for me. It keeps everything nice nice and quiet, super easy to clean. And this whole process doesn't take me any longer than 20 minutes. I can easily set aside that time on a Sunday. Also, I will suggest if you go crazy like me and degrease your dry train this often, definitely check your pulleys from time to time that they are spinning nicely. I haven't had any problems for the last couple of years. I replaced one pulley that was probably three bikes ago, maybe, that started seizing up probably because of my excessive cleaning but a new police is not that expensive unless you go for those crazy ceramic ones if i clean my bike on a sunday and my next ride is not until next weekend for example i will apply a thin layer on the inside say 30 minutes before the ride just to make sure i have enough lube on that chain so that's it I hope some of you found something interesting or useful in that video. If you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more bike nerdery and content like this. I will catch you in the next one. Peace! So I thought I would address that.